booting. Most humans could have the entirety of their fleeting lives chronicled in but a few short lines. Their stories really make for terribly dull reading. Traveling to other worlds is all that anyone seems to be writing about these days. <laughs> Goodness knows what they find so disappointing about their own world. Staying the same forever is quite beautiful. Ah, oh, but alas, that is simply not the way the world works. to other worlds is all that anyone seems to be writing about these days. <laughs> Goodness knows what they find so disappointing about their own world.
Most humans could have the entirety of their fleeting lives chronicled in but a few short lines. Their stories really make for terribly dull reading. Find the side effects. Right now. Emerge. Right here. No. Right now. What a nuisance. Making a turn for the better. comes first.
when on the road, one should take ample time to pause and appreciate the wondrous scenery along the way. You're about to collapse, aren't you? Right now. Let me read you a verse. Right here, a sight to behold. Seems like an emergency. Mind the side effects. No, my sword. Right now.
This realm is... If you ever have...
<sighs> Traveling to other worlds is all that anyone seems to be writing about these days. <laughs> Goodness knows what they find so disappointing about their own world. Remember, health comes first. Right now. This may hurt a little. Rain outlines your fate. No, my soul. <laughs> Rain cut. Turn for the better. Mind the side effects. Rain outlines your fate right here. Emerge. A sight to behold. Committed to memory. Make yourselves at home. No, my sword.
rain outlines your face. No, my... Emerge. Right here. Right now. The Dactyl will see you.
Right here, right now. A bitter pill to swallow. Emerge, right now, emerge. A sight to behold. Right now, emerge. Everyone hold hands.
There is no escape. Quietly now. your face. The statue will see right now. Emerge. Everyone hold hands. Seems like an emergency. Mind the side effect. Right now. Right here. Emerge. Yeah. <laughs> right here. Emerge. No, my sword. Rain outlines your fate. I see everything. Right now, right here, emerge. Nothing lasts forever. Illusion shattered. Let's light it up. Motion to compel. To oblivion! Show them. Come on out. Huh? Everyone hold hands. Ring cutter. You are not ah. here. There is no escape. Gotcha. Let's light it up! <sighs> Illusion shattered! <clears throat> Insolent! <laughs> there is no escape! Teamwork is dream Here comes the counter! Invisible evidence! <laughs> Torn to oblivion!
<clears throat> oh. oh. It's just some chronic pro Add Astra at Thank you for completing today's commissions. Here kind of thrilling story. I'm afraid I don't have one. Even when I was studying medicine under my late master, I didn't experience any particularly dire situations. My master saw that I had a good head on my shoulders, had me swear a simple oath, and took me in. That's all there was to it.
Want to spar? Let's take it in turns. You rest. I'll stand guard.
afraid of me. Who's next? Huh? huh? Naughty child. <laughs> of the past. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing! What a headache.
Mess with me. In the name of land, a will forged in ice never falters. What a headache. <laughs> no manners, huh? Landau, a will forged in ice, never falters! Don't mess with me. I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. <laughs> time for a shot. Nap time. A will forged in ice never falters. <laughs> Naughty child. <laughs> Hope you're prepared. <laughs> just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. You have my gratitude. Don't mess with me. You, huh? Next time.
I'm with you. them unawares.
Let's take it in turns. You rest. I'll stand guard. <laughs> Wanna spar? of the past. misery. A sharp scythe needs targets. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing! I'll end your misery. Who's next? No manners, huh? <laughs> Naughty child. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'll free you from- Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. of Landau, a will forged in ice, never falters! What a headache. I'll end your misery. Don't mess with me. We caught them unawares. Sharp Scythe needs targets. of the past.
disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. <laughs> no manners, huh? huh? Naughty child, nap time. Time well spent. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing! Ah, oh, great. Who's next? No manners, huh? Who oh, will it be? in ice never falters don't mess with me i'll end your misery who invited you i'll free you from your chains disappear among the sea of butterflies illusions of the past
everything is ordained. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. Don't mess with me. This ends here. Naughty child. <laughs> no manner. <laughs> Name of Landau, a will forged in ice, never falters. I'll free you from your disappear among the sea of butterflies, illusions of the past. Hope you're prepared. What a headache! Now, who invited? Huh? Take it in turns. You rest. I'll stand guard.
have you been? fast. Didn't I tell you? Long story short, the underground used to have many mines. However, in recent years, some sort of corrosion called the Fragmentum started to spread. It's ruined a lot of mines. The one we're heading into is relatively unaffected. A bunch of vagrants made it their home after their old turf was consumed by the Fragmentum. Actually, most of them are pretty honest folks. But with such a large group, it's inevitable that troublemakers will find their way in. They've been stealing stuff from the miners and picking fights. And that's not the worst of it. Things are much more serious this time. For two days now, huge clashes have been breaking out between the miners and the vagrants. It isn't pretty. Mines are our lifelines in the underworld. We have to keep providing Geomero to the overworld in exchange for supplies. In order to quell the situation, Chief Oleg brought wildfire into the mine and left me in charge of security for the towns. But the situation in the mine is critical. I have to back him up. The underground used to have many mines. The one we're heading in, but with such a large group, things are much more serious this time. For two days now, huge mines are our lifeline in order to quell the situation. Oh, as for you, the chief will decide your fate when we see him. Good. I've been wanting to come face to face with the leader of the underworld. You're about to come face to face with reality. The doctor lady? What's Natasha doing here? Things must be worse than I thought. <laughs> Go. You'd be here. Where's Oleg? Hey, Zila and Sampo's guests. So it looks like you've already met. I haven't seen Oleg. The miners said they saw him take a group further in. Miners and their family members. They want an explanation from the instigators. This area up ahead is a vagrant dwelling, but they've sealed off the entrance. I guess they're afraid that angry miners might try to take revenge. <sighs> I heard that many were injured in the clashes, so I hurried over here to see if I could help. How could the situation here become such a mess? I heard that first mining team found a geomarrow vein with incredible deposits. The initial estimate put it at the largest discovery in the last 30 years. Are you serious? That's big news. 
How come I never heard about it? Well, they weren't in a hurry to make it known. Most of the mines have been contaminated by the Fragmentum. Many people are out of work. They were afraid of being overwhelmed if they let the word out. But the vagrants here have keen eyes. They couldn't keep it hidden from them. Some local gangs wanted to profit from the situation, so they blackmailed the mining team for hush money. And that was the final straw. <sighs> I can understand your thinking. It's just that the underground is in difficult straits. And that's how the clash started. Now both sides are dealing with heavy losses. So, are you guys here to help resolve the conflict? They're here because they need a favor from Chief Oleg. I'm escorting them. And seeing as you need that helping hand, it wouldn't be too much to ask you to lend one here first, right? Of course we want to help. We care about other people too, you know. Oh, that's quite nice of you. <laughs> I believe we're dealing with kind-hearted people here, Zila. As you've all seen, the situation down here is, um, strained. If you can, we would really appreciate you helping the people.
giant ore vein, the one they discovered. That must be where the clashes are centered. Come on, let's get to higher ground and take a look. and take a look. He might need help. <sighs> Falling asleep in a place like this. Impressive. Hey, wakey, wakey. You'll get mushrooms growing on your head. Mushroom bread? I can't see it on the menu. Huh? Mesila! Have you got a death wish or something? How can you sleep here? Get back to safety and take shelter. Take shelter? I remember now. These guys came out of nowhere and got into a fight with the mining team. At the time, I was exhausted. I'd hardly run a few feet when one of them caught me. If it weren't for wildfire, They'd have stolen the clothes off my back. Uh, further in, I guess. Those thugs took control of the vein ages ago. And they're fully armed. We poor, defenseless, good folks were no match for them. It's only thanks to wildfire that the great mine hasn't fallen into their hands completely. It seems like Chief Oleg must be up ahead. Hurry up and get back to safety. Look for Nat. And try not to get into another scrap along the way. Okay. Thank you for, um, getting me on my feet. If I get back soon enough, I'll have time for a, for a nap. I recognize that woman. That's Elaine from First Mining Team. Quick, let's get up there and see if she's wounded. Elaine! Are you okay? Are you hurt? Uh, Zila, thank goodness. I I'm fine. Just a couple of sprains. <sighs> You've got good timing. Those vagrants were asking me about the robots, but I don't know anything. Oh! Don't you know? The intersection of the Great Mine has been seized by a band of robots. Neither the mining team nor the Vagrants can get anywhere near. The new challengers enter! About time! Human-only conflicts are so boring! Does anyone know where the robots come from? <sighs> At first, we thought that a collective fault had occurred in the excavation machines. But then we found out that those machines didn't even belong to the mining team. They came out of nowhere and pushed the Vagrants and us back. Then they blocked off the only tunnels into the intersection. <sighs> There's no way anyone in the mining team is behind this. Operating a single unit is tiring enough, but a whole group? <laughs> Impossible. Then there's only one possibility. Boss Svarog. Svarog? That name sounds familiar. <sighs> you remember the robots we defeated in the boxing gym? Oh, Boss Svarog's robots! What's his deal? Let's just say he's not to be trifled with. Let's go and find some other people. Elaine, can you make it back to safety? No problem. Zila and the rest of you, be careful. Robots? Aligned against humans? I've never heard of such a thing. Machines should obey humans unconditionally. That's not the only thing you won't have heard of down here, princess. Is this elevator broken? Why isn't it r responding? Why are you worried about this piece of junk? Do you really want to go down there and be a live target for the robots? But 
If we evacuate, then haven't we lost out? <sighs> you idiots will just steal off the miners. Look, I saw with my own eyes. They managed to bag some Geomaro. This is a perfect opportunity. Oh, good idea. Shameless. Still after the miners, are you? Time to teach you a lesson. of me. <laughs> Fleeing at the first sign of danger. That's all they're good for. Huh? What's this? Did those guys leave it behind? Whoa! whoa! What the heck? Beep, beep, beep! Searching for potential user. Beep, beep! Print detected! Looking up corresponding identity information. Oh my, it's an alien! Hey, it talks! And it knows that we aren't from this planet? It doesn't seem to be technology from here. Look, it even has an International Peace Corporation logo on it. Perhaps it's an antiquity left behind by some past interstellar traveler. Beep, beep, beep. Your mom's an antiquity! Whatever, whatever. So you aliens know about the Inter-Astral Peace Corporation? That's great! Beep, beep, beep! Self-introduction. I am Richard, the Home Use Object Finder. Model information. Version 0 0.63. Professional model. Annual deluxe package. Nickname, Findy. A Home Use Object Finder? Who knew the IPC made these kinds of products? Beep, beep, beep. My brainwave scanner module is damaged. Please send me to an inter-astral peace appliances retail store near you for free repair within the warranty period of 232 years, 84 days. Beep, beep, beep. Alien, please take me to an inter-astral peace appliances retail store to conduct repairs. What? This fell is already broken. What should we do? Take it with us? Beep, beep, beep! Yes, yes, yes! When you need to find something you can't see, just call upon Findy! That's me! Ordained by those stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Uh. Huh. Time for a shot. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. You have my gratitude. <laughs> this ends here. Who's next? No manner. me in the name of land a will forged in ice never falters
I'm okay. Hope you're prepared. Who invited you? <laughs> I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Is that all? <laughs> this ends here. So you are afraid of me. I'll end your misery. Hey, what's that commotion? It sounds like there's a big argument happening. Let's get closer and take a look. Cowards and bullies. I don't remember you guys acting this tough around Svarog's minions. <laughs> Did your parents never teach you what a backbone was? <laughs> we ain't stupid. Why would we risk our lives against the robots? And get off the high road. You can't just find a huge chunk of Geomero and hog it all to yourselves. <laughs> this mine is our territory. The mining team is laboring here day in and day out. You guys don't even pretend like you're here to lend a hand. You're lazy. All you want is to profit off our sweat and tears. And you don't even try hiding it. Disgraceful. Where does disgrace come into it when we can't even fill our stomachs, huh? I know your game. You're just waiting for us to starve to death so there's more food for your mining team. <sighs> it's a waste of time trying to reason with you. While you've been kicking up this fuss, the whole vein's been seized by robots. Now we're all in the same boat. <laughs> right, right. We can't rely on the vein anymore. But don't forget which side brought loaded guns to the party. Whoa, easy. What are you trying to pull off? I'm warning you, wildfire are in the area. <laughs> Empty threat. <laughs> Wildfire are stuck dealing with Sparag's minions. How are they gonna help you now? Unless you're planning on taking a bullet. Hand over the supplies and equipment. They're getting ready to attack. Those miners are unarmed. You shameless scoundrels! No need to play the hero. I'm going with you. I'm going too. We can't let these thugs get away with whatever they like. Aha! And who do we have here? Do you know whose territory this is? Shut it. This isn't your territory. I'm in a hurry. I'll take you all in one go. Come on. I'm a good... I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. <laughs> Naughty child. Everything is ordained by... Oh, stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. I'm first shot. <laughs> Hope you're prepared. <laughs> Oh, Zila, thank goodness you came. We were nearly, uh... <laughs> Nothing but a few knuckleheads. I'm just glad you're okay. Antonia, have you seen Chief Oleg? Oleg? He took a group into the intersection. Said it was to clear off the invading robots. They've been gone for a while now. <laughs> if Wildfire was around, those thugs wouldn't have dared. 
Seems like the core of this problem is Svarog's robots. Your run-of-the-mill robots don't have a will of their own. Their aim is merely Svarog's aim. The boss. He appeared suddenly after the guards were redeployed and became a major player in the underworld. Svarog claims to be a guardian of humanity. All the ownerless robots obey his commands. They've occupied the Furnace Core hub, and they're not letting anyone get close. Nobody knows why Svarog did any of this. He usually doesn't leave the Furnace Core and interfere unless some kind of disorder breaks out in the underworld. Wait, a guardian of humanity? <laughs> that can command robots? No, I I've never heard of anything like... <laughs> Looks like your mighty architects weren't as all-knowing as you thought. Can you two say anything without quarreling? This isn't the time! <sighs> it sounds like there's danger waiting for us in the intersection. Can we still get through? Yeah, you still need to talk with the chief. It's only a bunch of scrap metal. What are we afraid of? Oh, is Zila starting to appreciate our strength? Hmm? I'll be honest. You guys are hardworking. If everyone from Wildfire were as impressive as you on the battlefield, we wouldn't be so hard-pressed by Svarog. Antonia, can you take the mining team back through the entrance to meet up with Natasha? Yeah, sure thing. But uh, be careful. There are a lot of robots up ahead. <sighs> what kind of days are we living through? Svarog? I don't know much. Uh, the underground's in turmoil, everyone's focused on their own issues. Who has time to get involved in someone else's affairs? Uh, I heard the Vagrants say Svarag was protecting their base near the Furnace Core. <laughs> and there I was thinking he was one of the good guys. Huh? What are you trying to say? That it's my fault? Get it. I'm just tired, that's all. Even if those vagrants have no home to return to, they still have their dignity. <laughs> Won't accept charity forever. They needed honest work to get them through this hardship, so I let them join the mining team. Can anyone really say I did wrong? Uh, when it boils down to it, I only chose to form a clique because the other miners never truly accepted him. I should have seen it. Yeah, they're a reliable group. <laughs> Trust me, if we didn't have them, this area would be packed with monsters already. Just like Rivet Town. Ah, I'm about to take the mining team over to Dr. Natasha. Take care of yourselves. with me. Illusion! 
illusions of the past. Is that all? Lend me your strength. To guard and defend. Crush them. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Lend me your strength. Lend me your strength. Who's next? Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Lend me your strength. Forged in ice, never falters! <laughs> Disappear among the sea of butterflies, illusions of the past. <laughs> Troublesome. To guard and defend, crush them. Who's next? <laughs> right way? It looks like there's a roadblock up ahead. I'll be the judge of that. Come on, let's take a closer look. It's completely blocked by the mine card. What do we do? Can we blow it up? Easy. It belongs to the mining team. We can't just destroy it. We should try and fix it. Easier said than done. Do you know how? Yeah, of course. Every underworlder worth their salt knows how to fix a minecart. Let me see. Hmm. Even the pin connecting the body to the chassis is broken. Not to mention the rear wheel set bearing. This looks like the work of Svarog's minions. We need to find spare parts we can use nearby. We're wasting time. Beep, beep, beep! Friends, do you need to find something? Bindy can help! How come you just jumped out on your own, little fella? Isn't your module thingy broken? Beep, beep, beep. My brainwave scanner module is indeed broken. However, manual input for search is still operable. Come on, input the name of the object you were looking for. Bindy can help! Oh, well, aren't you confident? Huh? Let me give it a try, then. Where's the input interface? Ah, found it. Minecart pin, minecart wheel set. Confirm. Just like that? Beep, beep, beep. Request is being processed. Beep, beep, beep. Match successful. Initiating search for lost item. Minecart pin. Beep, beep, beep. Item found. Please commence search according to the Home Use Object Finder Safety Manual. search history, I recommend the Humanoid Tactical Microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. Beep, beep, beep. As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call in- Beep, beep, beep. As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, beep, beep, beep. Potential target object detected. The current search has concluded. And 
Let me see. Uh, yeah, we can make do with this part. This little machine isn't half bad. Beep, beep, beep! What's that? Is that a hint of respect for Findy? How convenient! So, next time Don Hum gets lost, we can just use Findy to find him, right? Beep, beep, beep. Biological life form search is currently not supported. If you have any questions, please call Interastral Peace Appliances. Well, it was a good idea. Let's look for the next part. Beep, beep, beep! Initiating search for lost item, minecart wheel set. Beep, beep, beep! Item found! Please commence search according to the Home Use Object Finder Safety Manual. Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep! Potential target object detected. The current search has concluded. Enter. That's everything. You were a bit beep, 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 beep. Current search complete. <sighs> Entering sleep mode. Please recharge the home use object finder. We're pretty lucky, huh? Without Findy, it probably would have taken half the day to find these parts. Well, not that long, but that little machine definitely made it a lot easier. All right, let's go back and fix the minecart. Are you going to do it yourself? Why wouldn't I? You've got to be self-reliant down here. Watch, you might learn something. work. You know, I didn't think you guys had worked a day in your lives, but you know how to get your hands dirty. The cart is about to depart! The robots will have seized the road ahead by now. Whoa! Stop! Uh, stop! 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 There's a big evil hunk of metal right there! That model... One of Svarog's lapdogs, all right. Don't be afraid. I've dealt with those robots before. Let's go. Ah, <laughs> oh, great. Chains disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Who invited you? <laughs> Nap time. No manners, huh? Justin's just a little something. Think nothing of it. <laughs> what a headache. In the name of land, a will forged in ice never falters! Chains disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past.
Don't mess with me. Ordained by the oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. Naughty child, just a little something. Think nothing of it. Scythe needs target. Time well spent. Seeing it up close, this vein's even more spectacular. I doubt the underground will ever see it fully excavated. Delicate operation. Seeing it up close, this vein's even more spectacular. I doubt the underground will ever see it fully excavated. Mm. a massive vein. I've never seen so much Geomero before. Calculating. Based on the average rate of excavation, this vein is enough to supply Bellabog with 231 days of energy, with a margin of error of 7 days. I sense that your reason for summoning me is not the boring question. State your true intention, Clara. Right. I wanted Mr. Sparg to see that many miners and vagrants have gotten hurt because of the vein. Can you help them? I have already prevented the dispute and taken temporary control of the excavation zone. Evaluation result. In the event of no further variables, there will be no large-scale armed conflict within the next 30 days. I know why you did it, Mr. Sparg. It's just... I don't think it'll be enough. The mining team and Wildfire, they don't understand your actions. <sighs> if only we could do more for them. My mission is the protection of the underworld. The trust of the minority sample is redundant to my calculations. 
Human behavior will always deviate from rational calculation, Clara. As evidenced by their presence here. Sparag! We haven't settled our final score. Zila, subordinate to wildfire. Your resistance is futile. The result of my calculation is unequivocal. Remaining in the underworld is the optimal strategy for survival. This again. Calculation results, survival strategies. I haven't got time for your thesis. Withdraw your forces, or I'll lose my temper. Observe, Clara. Even under abject conditions, humans are unable to avoid division and conflict. But Mr. Svarog... Human failure to accept the calculation result is a significant threat to the survival strategy of the underworld. Calculation complete. Result unequivocal. Armed suppression of wildfire and their allies is the optimal course of action. More fashionably dressed, too. Uh, hey, is he about to leave? What about the girl in red? We must leave, Clara. External variables have triggered a calculation reset. The furnace core hub requires protection. Please, Mills. Don't hit them too hard. <sighs> I was getting bored of those minions. Time for a real fight. Come at me! of Landau, a will forged in ice, never falters! Ah, oh, great. Misery. I'll free you from your disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. hiding a lot which is why wildfire has never been able to take him down Svarog's forces are too strong we don't have enough firepower Clara don't worry about her that girl is best pals with Svarog she's always following behind him he wouldn't harm her. I guess I'm just used to seeing them together now, even if I don't understand it. Let's look for the chief. No need to look far. Nice work, Zelo. We were attacked on both sides by robots. Who knows where they came from? We thought we were in it for the long haul. <laughs> oh, chief, is everyone okay? Is anyone injured? We're fine. We're used to it at this point. We sent those pesky robots and ragtag troops packing. The mines should be quiet for a while. And, uh, who are your friends here? Ah, them. 
They're outsiders that Sample brought down from who knows where. They need a favor from Wildfire, so I brought them with me. It'll be faster if they explain. <laughs> That's quite the tone to take on our first meeting. I won't forget you in a hurry. So, you went to all this trouble to find Wildfire. What help is it you need? <laughs> I didn't know you'd put on a show for the Overworld, too. Impressive. <laughs> well, this is new. Wildfire can barely take care of the Underworld. And now outsiders are looking for assistance from us. This Stellaron you speak of. Never heard of it. But if it's a secret that even we locals don't know about, then one name does come to mind. Really, Sampo? You might as well try the Supreme Guardian. The current Supreme Guardian is a liar, who uses sweet words to deceive the Underworld. She's never cared about our survival. Stop right there. I won't allow you to insult the Madam Guardian. Miss Overworld, my words may be painful to you, but every one of them is true. Go out into the towns and hear for yourself. See how the people here suffer. I haven't gotten close to voicing the extent of the Underworld's grievances, young lady. But I will respect your request. I will leave it at that for now. Let's get back to the main topic. The name that came to my mind was Svarog. Huh? Isn't Svarog Wildfire's sworn enemy? Why would a mere robot in the Underworld have knowledge of important secrets? Sworn enemy. Not how I see it. The young master here is closer. Svarog is a cold and unfeeling machine. He recognizes only the dead reasoning of his calculations. Svarog is not against Wildfire. Or perhaps I should say, Wildfire isn't even of concern to him. That ancient robot witnessed the war. If you're looking to pick up a thread, he may well be your best source. Don't judge a book by its cover. I myself have put a few centuries behind me. Would you be able to tell? I'm familiar with over 20 long life species. None of them look like you. Uh, hey, would it kill you to play along? Robots don't forget. If Svarog hasn't heard of your Stellaron, then I'm afraid perhaps no one has. In which case, we need to think of a way to convince Svarog to communicate with us. Or get him to hand over his memory bank. We could go through it ourselves. <sighs> what should we do? We've tried repeatedly to negotiate with Svarog, but he rejects every effort. He believes that wildfire is a threat. Still, if it were you guys... Hmm. It's difficult to say. We have time. Let's get into the detail tomorrow. It's late, and you must have been through a lot. Go back to the town and rest. I'll make arrangements. Again? I'm starting to get nervous of arranged rest on this planet. As for our silver main girl here, do you have time? I'd like to talk with you in private. Vagrants? Svarog? The changes in here are greater than I ever imagined. <sighs> what exactly did the Underworld go through after the Silvermane Guards left? Sorry. Did you have something you wanted to say to me? I think 
think I know what it will concern. Even if Oleg wasn't looking for me, I would have looked for him. I'm certain that the residents of the Underground will have a lot they need to vent about. And, as a Silvermane guard, I have a lot that I need to ascertain. Nothing more. According to Oleg, he's a robot that took part in the War of Defense over 700 years ago. He possesses a near-human intelligence and rules over all the machinery in the underground. During the war, the architects created astonishing mechanical soldiers. But the fight was so terrible that most were damaged or destroyed. The technology was lost. If what Oleg says is true, then Svarag is an architect creation left over from the old era. We do? I hadn't realized. I've received rigorous military training. Coordinating with soldiers under any circumstances is easy for me. I admit Zila is talented. We do work well together. But that's all there is to it. Hey... Thanks for your concern. Well, you should head back to the town. And I'll do the same when Oleg and I are finished. Hey, young lady, this isn't the best place for a chat. Let's keep things brief. Svarog? Well, he's an artificially intelligent being from the old world. He was here when the underground was first constructed. That's about all I knew. Now he guards the Furnace Core hub. Many vagrants have established bases in the vicinity, seeking Svarok's protection. You got the gist from Natasha, right? The miners and vagrants came to blows over the vein. Then Svarok's subordinates pushed everyone back. You saw for yourself. After he pushed everyone back, he disappeared. It was clear he didn't have any interest in the vein itself. If you want my take, he prevented another underworld conflict. Even if the execution was rough around the edges. His behavior says something about his thinking. As long as everyone's been driven out, the conflict is over. Well, I heard that she's a Silvermane guard that was sent to arrest you. I expected you to be less friendly around each other. Are you worried about her? Really? I'm surprised. Still, you can rest easy. I won't make things difficult for her. We haven't seen a Silvermane guard down here for a long time now. I just want to ask her a few questions. Nothing more. Uh, it's getting late. <clears throat> you should go back to the town and get some rest. You guys have some moves. If you need my help with anything, just shout. <laughs> Couldn't even give it a minute, could you? I've been on my feet all day. I don't have the energy for more headaches right now. Let me catch my breath and I'll come find you tomorrow. Oh, uh, I wanted to ask you... That Branya girl, is she really a Silvermane guard? Oh, she heads up the force? Hm, not bad. It's just, I thought that Silvermane guards were all cold and unfeeling. They left the underworld to perish. But she doesn't give me that impression. Anyway, I've got stuff to report to the chief. See you around.
I'm with you. And a will forged in ice never falters. Oh, great. Ah! No manners. I'll free huh? you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. My gratitude. <laughs> Naughty child. Everything is ordained. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. Time for a shot. Landau. A will forged in ice never falters! Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Thanks! So you are afraid of me. Who's next? Huh? Naughty child. Don't mess with me. The stars will always remember us. What a headache. I'll end your misery. I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Who's next? Who invited you? Everything is ordained by the oh, stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing.
Nap time. This ends here. Don't mess with the me. The name of Landau. A will forged in ice. Never falters! What a headache. I'll end your misery. I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. The stars will always remember us. with me. More than nap time. I'll end your misery. What a headache. I'll end your misery. I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. No manners, huh? Naughty child. This ends here. So you are afraid of me. Who's next? The stars will always remember us. of the past. <laughs> in the name of Landau, a will forged in ice never falters! Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Hope you're prepared. Don't mess with me. I'll end your misery. Everything is ridiculous. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. of me. Who's next? I'll free you from disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. In the 
name of land, a will forged in ice never falters. I'm okay. So you are afraid of me. of me. Who's next? I'll end your misery. Well spent. And a will forged in ice never falters. Everything is worth those stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. So you are afraid. Who's next? I'll end your misery. I'll free you from your disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. A sharp scythe needs targets. Don't mess with me. Just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. You have my gratitude. What a headache. No manners, huh? <laughs> That'll take more than medicine. <laughs> Hope you're prepared. So you are afraid of me. Next. I'll end your misery. Who invited I'll you? I'll free you from your disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. The stars will always remember us.
ends here. What a headache. with me in the name of land a will forged in ice never falters who's next i'll free you from your chains disappear among the sea of butterflies illusions of the past Scythe needs targets. With me. Everything is ridiculous. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. <laughs> no manners, huh? I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. <laughs> A sharp scythe needs target. What was that? Was I asking for trouble? Huh? What a headache. of me. I'll end your misery. Who invited you? Time for a shot. This ends here. Don't mess with me. In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice never falters. Chains disappear among the sea of butterflies, illusions of the past. Uh. Yeah. Who will it be? <laughs> That'll take nap time. We caught them unawares.
yours, huh? <laughs> Everything is ridiculous. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. Naughty child. That's better. Saving this me won't here. earn you any favors. <laughs> just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. Hope you're prepared. What a headache. I'll end your misery. Who's next? Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. The stars will always remember us. Mess with me. I'm okay. What a headache. Who's next? Who invited you? Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. We caught them unawares. already And a will forged in ice never falters. Everything is ordained by those stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. So you are 
you're afraid of me. Who's next? I'll free you from your chain. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Scythe needs targets. from here too? Oh, you must be Oleg's guests. Welcome to the Gerda Grand Hotel. Uh, hey, that's not very polite. <laughs> it's fine. You aren't the first guest to have that reaction. A few hundred years ago, one ancestor of the Gerda family was ambitious and sought to build something big from nothing. Eventually, he actually did it. Have you seen that stylish Goethe Hotel? Strictly speaking, it's a branch of this grand hotel. Oh, people with big dreams have big determination. Oleg wants me to take good care of y'all. Here's the key. You'll be staying in our most spacious guest room. What do you think? Should we go ahead and call it a day? Or walk around a bit more first? 
<sighs> time to rest again. I hope there aren't any surprises this time. That Oleg... He seems sincere. What do you guys think? <sighs> Would you look at her! Blurting out something so irresponsible! <sighs> A lot like you, actually. But if you ask for my opinion, it's better to be safe than sorry. Ah, oh, fine. We'll keep our guards up. Our last hotel experience was eventful, to say the least. One of us should keep watch tonight. Uh, keep watch? Are we space cowboys now? I guess this is the Cosmic Wild West. <laughs> uh, anyone else sleepy? You seem pretty exhausted. Don't overexert yourself. I'll do it. I'll keep watch. Branya, did you finish talking to Oleg? Hope he didn't make things difficult for you. Not really. Though it wasn't the friendliest conversation. We didn't see eye to eye on everything. I've come to know a great deal in a short time. I doubt I'll be able to fall asleep tonight. I doubt I'll be able to sleep either. Not that I don't trust you. It's just, you're a Silvermane guard officer in the underground. There might be people looking to harm you. I wouldn't be surprised if there are. Silvermane guards have a lot to make amends for down here. If someone had made a stand in the outset and explained the consequences to Madame Kokolia... meaningless to talk about it now. You don't need to worry about me. Oleg guaranteed that I wouldn't be harmed. He seemed like a man of his word. Go and rest. point of it all. Voice again. 
Such a strange dream. May as well go for a walk if I can't sleep. Who goes there? Show yourself! Oh, it's you. Don't sneak up behind me next time. Lucky for you, I wasn't armed. <laughs> no sleep for you either, huh? Mm, I understand. The more that weighs on your mind, the more your fears become dreamscapes. Actually, seeing as there's no one around, it, can I ask you some things? This Stellaron you speak of, if you were to find it, how sure are you that you could stop the Eternal Freeze? Your confidence actually makes me even more worried. This isn't like helping a child make a snowball. You know, it was difficult for me to believe you. Some of the words you use are too alien for those that have lived their entire life in Bellabog. As far as I was concerned, Madame Kakolia's order to arrest you sounded reasonable. But why didn't she issue it straight away? She must have realized something about you. Something I haven't yet been able to perceive for myself. It bothers me. What must have transpired to cause her such a drastic change? Ah, still, orders are orders. It's not for soldiers to question their superiors. I don't need you to absolve me. The truth is, I didn't have every confidence that I was doing the right thing. But the sense of duty to carry out an order is bound to prevail with me. In the past, overworld soldiers on the front line would lose their lives in droves. And yet, the Fragmentum's advance would remain unaffected. Nevertheless, that was her reason for deploying all the Silvermane guards to the front line. The transport line for supplies in Geomero remained open, but the passage between the surface and the underground ceased. <sighs> I approved of that decision. I never thought that the underworld would sink into such ruin without the Silverman guards. Perhaps Mother was wrong. But how can I change her mind? I've tried, but she won't listen. I don't know how to get through to her. Help me change the mind of the Madam Guardian? <laughs> Not easy. Nobody knows that better than I do. Uh, the more I think about it, the more disoriented I get. Which in turn makes me think about it even more. I just want a better life for the people of Bellabog. Maybe you're right. Or not. Right now, I... I just need more time to think. Walk with me. Let's forget our problems for a while. I can't remember the last time I went for a walk like this. I never thought I'd take one through such a strange place, with someone I'd only just gotten to know. It's so quiet here. I'm not used to it. Ah, uh, the quieter things are around you, the louder they- I'm surprised the vagrants in the Great Mine go after the mining teams. They must be desperate. Still, whatever their situation, a crime is a crime. How is the law supposed to find a balance between justice and compassion in the face of such complexity? How much longer can you last with your current supplies? Is that Zila? Let's go take a look. I know. I'll go to Rivet Town and bring them back for you. 
It's too dangerous to go alone. Get Oleg to send someone with you. The rest of Wildfire has barely gotten any sleep the last few days. They should rest. They'd only be holding their eyelids open and slowing me down. Besides, didn't you say some of the miners were gravely injured? Lives are on the line. you supposed to be sleeping? What are you doing out here? Up to no good, perhaps? We're just having a walk neither of us could sleep. You can rescind your baseless accusations. <laughs> walk somewhere else, then. Easy, Zila. Maybe they can help. I'm grateful. Here's the situation. The clinic is packed full of people injured in the mines incident. Since you helped us resolve things, Zila and I have been busy caring for them. As you know, the underground is lacking resources to begin with. Add on the sudden nature of the incident, and it's no surprise that the clinic is almost out of medical supplies. We need to acquire more. Somehow. The situation in other towns is even worse than ours. As the Fragmentum spreads underground, more monsters go roaming around and causing trouble for all the towns. That means more vagrants in the mines. The town's resources have been swallowed up by the Fragmentum. To get anything now, people have to risk their lives. Easy now, Zila. Anger isn't good for one's health. Zila and I actually aren't from here. We both come from an industrial town to the north. A few years ago, the Fragmentum began to seep into the town center. I used to manage an orphanage and clinic there. But after the Fragmentum corroded the area, I had no choice but to move here to Boulder Town. After all, I have to survive myself if I want to save more people. Go to a corroded town to collect some useful resources? I'm in. You want to come as well? But you look quite tired. Hold up. I never said you could join us. People's lives are at stake. Why wouldn't you want another person to help? Besides, I have some experience with the Fragmentums. I'm sure I will be of use. Well, just don't slow me down. Zila's lack of outright rejection means she approves of you. With you all accompanying her, my mind will be more at ease. Come, let me give you a list of materials we need. The place you're going to is called Rivet Town. Follow the path through the mountains to the north for a bit, and you'll arrive there. <sighs> let me think. Uh, I'm almost out of metal plates and bandages used for immobilizing broken bones. There's a market in the center of Rivet Town. Residents left behind piles of materials there when they evacuated. Please look for some there. Oh, also rubbing alcohol. I kept a bunch at the orphanage, since the kids often got into tussles. <laughs> I didn't bring it with me when I left. Oh, I hope it's still intact. Lastly, painkillers. There should be a bunch stored in the old lab. Hopefully they haven't been destroyed by monsters. These should be enough to get by for a bit longer. Be careful, don't push yourselves too hard. Metal plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, and painkillers. Got it. Piece of cake. Let's go. If we leave now, we can still make it back before sundown. When it comes to helping injured people groaning in pain, the sooner the better. If we hadn't happened to be passing by, were you really planning on going into the Fragmentum alone? Of course. What's all the fuss about? I've done that loads of times. So reckless. 
According to the rules of the Silvermane Guards, any expedition into the Fragmentum must have a squad of at least four members, as well as a communications officer. Exactly. A rule of the Silvermane Guards. Don't apply your rules to us. Huh? Thank you. If we hadn't run into you two, Zila would have had to venture into the Fragmentum on her own.
I know it's not her first rodeo, but the thought of her taking on those... Well, she grew up before my eyes, after all. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. Zila has been like this since she was little. Impulsive, but you can trust her, even with your life. Stick around a bit longer, and you'll see what I mean. Wanna spar? We're here. This is Rivet Town. Everything looks familiar. Let's go and watch your step. I haven't been here in a long time. There are probably some monsters around. We can't see anything here. Let's find higher ground to get a better view. that house on the hill? That's Natasha's old orphanage. After Oleg found me, he sent me there. I spent over half my childhood in that place. Natasha said that the house was donated by some rich businessman. Whatever his business may have been, he must have been a good person. I miss those carefree days as a kid. Huh. What? Nothing to say? No, it's just... This place seems familiar somehow. Uh, never mind. Weirdo. Look down there. See the mess that remains of those old stalls? That's Rivet Town's market. The supplies Natasha wants are probably there. Let's keep moving. Watch out for monsters. Careful! Enemies ahead. These aren't like Vega. So you are afraid of me. Oh, 
I'll end your misery. Huh? We caught them all. Uh, restaurant? <laughs> the most famous restaurant in town. Natasha would bring the kids who behaved well here for a special meal. So, did she ever bring you? <sighs> Do I seem like I was a goody two-shoes? Of course not. Don't mess with me. Who's next? Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. The stars will always remember us. Facilities here seem to be in pretty good shape. Not like those of a place that has been abandoned for years. Now that you mention it, it does seem a little... Could people still be living here? Impossible. There's a bunch of crates piled over there. Maybe we can find what we're looking for. In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice never falters! What a headache. Everything is ordained. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing! Don't mess with me. of the past. A sharp scythe needs targets. <sighs> Darn. How could they all be empty? Now even the monsters are gathering supplies? The monsters of the Fragmentum don't need any materials we humans use. And if they did take anything, this place would look much messier. You mean that someone else got here and took everything before us? It's just a guess, but there are also some footprints on the ground here. Hmm. The scent of dirt is still fresh. They can't have come too long before us. Let's go then. We need to find something, even if we have to search every corner of this market. afraid of me. I'll end your misery. Huh? Not time. This ends here. <laughs> the stars will always remember us. Oh, 
Eric? Hey, Brat! How could you come here by yourself? Oh, don't you know how dangerous this place is? Zila! Uh, you are the boss of me. I can go wherever I want. It's none of your beeswax. You took the materials and hid them all here. Not bad, kid. But if we didn't take care of those monsters, what were you planning to do? Just stay here, shaking in your boots? Who asked you to do anything? I was just about to escape. I didn't need your help at all. Still stubborn, huh? Then tell me, how exactly were you going to get those big metal plates out of here past those monsters? Um... There's always a way. <sighs> Don't be so polite to him. Everyone in the underworld knows this brat is a no-good thief. If I remember correctly, even the clothes you're wearing came off another kid's back. Uh, about that. Tell us, what do you even want metal plates and gauze bandages for? We need them to save people. Two hundred. <laughs> what? Uh, two hundred shield? Are you kidding me? You want to negotiate? Not much, but I didn't bring my coin purse. You're actually planning to give this little crook money? I I'm telling you, this is his same old trick. No! Not this time. I really need money. My daddy... <sighs> Pretending to use your dad again as an excuse. If he knew about this, you'd be in big trouble. No! <laughs> Zila, that's enough. It's Eric, right? Here, you can have this. What's this? This is a medal given to me by the architects. See that blue stone in the middle? That's a geomero crystal of the highest purity. You need money for your family, right? Take this and show it to a knowledgeable buyer, and they'll instantly know how valuable it is. Hey, thank you. I... But you'll have to promise me one thing. You'll never steal other people's things again. Promise? I... I promise, I'll never steal things again. Then it's a deal. If you go back on your promise, I'm going to bring my Silvermane guards with me and catch you myself. Here, take the medal and go back to the town. We already took care of any threat on the way, you'll be safe. Thank you, whoever you are. You guys can take all of these things. Uh, you, you guys need to be careful, too. There seems to be something real scary in that house up on the hill. Oh, right! Uh, the road across from the market is blocked. If you want to go further, you'll have to go to the shopping street. Got it. Thanks for the tip. That object was pretty important to you, right? Are you sure you're okay just giving it to Eric like that? If it will make him change his ways, it's more than worth it. <laughs> what if he doesn't? From a young age, my mother taught me to be forgiving and to preserve the goodwill in people's hearts. Even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. I must give him a chance, Zila. Because other people can't. I don't really get what you just said. Anyway, <clears throat> we should get moving. Eric said that we need to take the shopping street to go any further. 
I think I still remember where it is. This way. This is the street, all right. The orphanage should be at the end. These shops and signs, when do I feel like I've seen them before? But when? will always remember us. My gratitude. What a headache. Naughty child. <laughs> Don't mess with me. Time for a shot. Hmm. Who invited you? <laughs> Do I have this already?
home. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing! What a headache. Scared yet? Huh? Naughty child. <laughs> just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. will always remember us. The entrance to the orphanage is up this way. I wonder what the old place is like now. Maybe some things will still look familiar. These stairs. Don't mess with me! Your chain disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. <laughs> time for a shot. Nap time. What a headache. In the name of Lend, a will forged in ice never falters. Don't mess with me. I want to try something out. I'll end your misery. Who's next? Observe today. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. You have my gratitude. Scared yet? 
Everything is ridiculous. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing! I'll free you from your chains! Disappear among the sea of butterflies! Illusions of the past! Scared yet? Huh? <sighs> That'll take more than medicine. Now, this ends here! In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice never falters! <laughs> Naughty child. <laughs> Don't mess with me! This ends here! <laughs> no manners, huh? Who will it be? What a headache! <laughs> Is that all? your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Who invited you? Huh? This ends here. Don't mess with me. In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice never falters. Everything is ordained. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. What a headache. What? Ah! Scared yet? I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. <laughs> no manners, huh? <laughs> Just, Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Hope you're prepared. So you are afraid of me. Who's next? Huh? Time for a shot. Nap time. among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. I'll end your misery.
I didn't expect this place to be so well preserved. You know, if we could have worked together to push back the Fragmentum, maybe we wouldn't have had to take off and leave our homes behind. Hasn't she? Hey, where are you going? These crates have been sitting here for many years, right? Even if they have materials in them, are you sure they are still usable? <laughs> Do you think undergrounders care about expiration dates? <laughs> Even having any supplies is a miracle in itself. No. No. Empty. How are they all empty? Who could have... Careful! Enemy behind you! I've only seen this kind of monster before in the restricted zone. <laughs> I don't care how big you are. You dare sneak up on us from behind. This is it for you, pal! of the past. <laughs> Justin, just a little something. Think nothing of it. Thanks. Hope you're prepared. Don't mess with me. Scared yet? <laughs> no. Was it? <sighs> nah, I could have taken it on by myself. But still, fighting alongside you two was pretty fun. <sighs> Should be all clear now. Let's poke around. The kids at the orphanage were always getting into scraps when we played out here. If I remember it right, there ought to be some supplies for our cuts and bruises stored in that corner there. I just hope the monster didn't get to them. It wasn't my imagination. Huh? What are you talking about? This building? This playground equipment? I've seen it all before. <laughs> what? Come on, the Overground and Underground have been sealed off from each other for over 10 years. It would have been news if a Silvermane guard had come down here, let alone an Overworld princess. Wait, unless... before that... Yes, it's a possibility. That would explain why my memory of it is so blurry. Come on, I need to look around a bit more before I can be sure. We've 
looked everywhere but here. I hope my memory is right. It's... Ah! Yes! We found it! Great! It's barely damaged! Nat wouldn't have expected her old supplies from years ago to have stayed in such good condition. You should still check the expiration date for things like rubbing alcohol. If it's expired, it won't be effective. Hmm, true. Let me check a few bottles. Huh? What's this? This is... This is... Something from when I was a child. When you were a child? Are you sure? No. I remember now. I, I used to live here. Before the architects took me away. Be, before Madame Cocolia adopted me. I used to live here. I'm an undergrounder. You're... an undergrounder? Wait a minute. You're saying that Cocolia, the Supreme Guardian, adopted you? Then... Yes. I'm the successor chosen by the architects. In the future, I will become the guardian who leads Bellabog. remember this until now. My childhood memories are so blurry. No. Mother would never do that to me. There's no way she would. The architect said that the Guardian successor is selected from among all people in Bellabog. The selection process can take anywhere from a few years to a few decades. During that time, all children of the appropriate age in both the overworld and the underworld will be tested. In the end, only one child deemed as worthy will be chosen. I... I must have been chosen from among the children here and then taken to the surface. The kids at the orphanage are always coming and going. I never thought that there would have been a future supreme guardian among us. Does Nat know about this? Could she have been keeping it a secret? I don't think she knows. The selection of the successor is done with utmost secrecy. And the child chosen must completely say goodbye to their past. And thus... I became the daughter of Madame Cocolia. My only identity is that of guardian successor. But I'm not good enough. Every day I see Silvermane guards sacrifice their lives in the Fragmentum. But I've never had the resolve to try to change Mother's mind. The Underworld has been struggling, but I never tried to help. I didn't even know that it was my own home that had fallen into such a dire state. In the end, I haven't been able to guard anything. How could they have thought that I was worthy to be the successor? Hey, are you done? Huh? Well, well, well. So annoying. I... Uh, what? <laughs> what? You thought I should feel sorry for you after your little speech? You can hide in your palace while you fuss over your overworld problems. And on the front line, it's not even you who's putting their life in danger. But in the underworld, what do we worry about? If we'll have food for our next meal or survive to the next week? <sighs> even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. Didn't you say that? Well, if you really want to protect everyone, what are you standing here crying for? Get to it! 
You're right. You're right. Self-pity doesn't help solve anything. Thank you, Sila. Usually when I feel sorry for myself, I am met with gentle consolation. Never has anyone dared to be tough and make me snap out of it. <laughs> I'm no good at consoling, but I can hit you on the head a few times, no problem. I can tell that you have a big burden to carry. Why do you force yourself to? As the successor to the Guardian of Bellabog, I must always be vigilant of my behavior and thoughts. Yeah, yeah, Lady Branya. <laughs> Miss Future Supreme Guardian comes from the same orphanage as me. Who thought it would be a good idea to put us together, huh? How about I show you around the orphanage a bit more? Unlike you, my memories from when I was little are crystal clear. Okay. I'll indulge in old memories with you for a while. I should let those two be alone for a bit. The only thing left to find is... painkillers. I'll see if there's any nearby. I should let those two be only thing... Detected. Protect, Clara. Initiating active defense mode. Perkins, don't! Stop! I've seen this person before. She... she's not bad, right? Command received. Danger removed. Deactivating active defense mode. This place is dangerous. You should leave. Oh, I came here for these painkillers too. There are a lot of people hurt at the Vagrant Camp. I guess the miners are no different? <sighs> everyone could just get along, things would be easier. Mm. Here you are. I hope the medicine is of help to you. Mr. Svarog, he... he's my family. I met Mr. Svarog when I was real little. He took me in and took care of me. I'm really sorry about what happened back in the Great Mine. Mr. Svarog doesn't trust any humans besides me, especially everyone from Wildfire. He heard that the miners and vagrants had begun to engage in a large-scale conflict. He wanted to stop everyone from getting hurt fighting over the mines. Wildfire wants everyone to leave the underground, but Mr. Svarov wants everyone to stay here. According to his calculations, the overground is already unsafe. Yes! At least according to Mr. Svarov's calculations. He says that his responsibility is preservation. To do that, he must make decisions that best protect humanity. I know that 
that Wildfire wants to talk to Mr. Svarog, but no matter how many times you talk to him, Mr. Svarog won't change his mind. So please trust me. I'll try to persuade Mr. Svarog. Hopefully one day he'll finally listen. Clara, what are you doing here? You're... Miss Sela from Wildfire. I came here to... Why are you helping the Vagrants look for medicine? If they're so great, how could they make a little girl go around running errands for them? N no, it's not like that. I wasn't made to do anything. It's just that the living conditions for the Vagrants aren't great. There's not even a clinic in their camp. So I wanted to help them out. Also, not all of them are bad people. Everyone just wants to survive. <laughs> Miss Sila, did this medicine belong to Miss Natasha? Then, can you give me some? The Vagrant's injuries are quite serious. <sighs> I see. Let's split these painkillers then. R really? We don't need to ask Miss Natasha first? If I know Nat, she won't mind. Although, this will make it more difficult for us. She'll understand. She always does. Great! Thank you, Miss Sila. Are you leaving? This old town is too dangerous. We'll accompany you part of the way. It's fine. I have Perkins for company. And... I have some more things I need to look for here first. Understood. Be careful, though. What should I observe today? Hmm. Oh. Plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, painkillers. Great, that's everything. Let's go report to Natasha in Boulder Town. It won't take long to get back.
name of Lenda. A will forged in ice never falters. What a headache. I'll end your misery. Who's next? Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Have a situation at hand. Don't mess with me. Time for a shot. <laughs> Justin, just a little something. Think nothing of it. You have my gratitude. <laughs> so you are afraid of me. Naughty child, nap time. Who invited you? Huh? What a headache. I'll free you from disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Misery. Who's next? I'm okay. will always remember us. In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice never falters! No manners, huh? I'll free you from your chain. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Huh? Time for a shot. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. You have my gratitude. Everything is ordained. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. Now, time. Hope you're prepared. So you are afraid of me. Who's next? Who invited you? <laughs> Don't mess with me. Scared yet? <laughs> the stars will always remember us.
disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Who invited you? Huh? Naughty child. <laughs> Saving me won't earn you any favors. <laughs> What a head. Name of Lend. A will forged in ice. Never falters. Don't mess with me. Who's <laughs> next? <laughs> just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. You have my gratitude. No manners, huh? Who will it be? <laughs> Only a scratch. It'll heal. Now. Afraid of me. I'll end your misery. Who invited I'll you? Free you Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. We caught them unawares. Afraid of me. I'll end your misery. No manners, huh? <laughs> I'm for a shot. <laughs> this ends here. We caught them unawares. Everything is ordained. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. What a headache. Ah! Scared yet? I'll free you from your chain. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Huh? Hope you're prepared. So you are afraid of me. Stars will always remember us. In the name of Lend, a will forged in ice never falters. Don't mess with me. Ah! Scared yet? I'll free you from your chain. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Scared yet? Who will it be? This ends here. needs targets. Let's take it in turns. You rest. I'll stand guard. Nat! We're back. <laughs> That's our Zila. Nothing if not punctual. <laughs> so, did you find any usable supplies? Oh, let me see. Metal plates, gauze bandages, painkillers, rubbing alcohol. Ah, oh, perfect. That's everything I needed. It's just, there are less painkillers than I'd expected. Did someone break into the storage room? Clara? Huh. 
If she was there too, then I understand. She wants to look after the injured vagrants, right? Clara's always been a kind-hearted girl. <laughs> I think you made the right decision. <sighs> Still, it means I'm going to have to draw up a detailed dosage plan. Hey, don't worry. I'll help you. Um, no need. I'll handle the clinic. <laughs> I assume you three have more important things to be getting on with, right? Oleg will be waiting, not to mention your two companions. So you guys aren't that close after all? I thought you were sworn friends. <laughs> You're adorable, Branya. She was obviously joking. I bet old Oleg wants to talk about Svarog. We should get going. Sorry, Nat. We'll have to leave the wounded to you. Oh, no worries. I hope things go smoothly. Ready? Aren't you? We didn't get any rest last night. You're gonna have to step it up, you know. My record is six days no shut eye.
Let's take it in turns. You rest, I'll stand guard.
disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Lend me your strength. Who's next? Lend me your strength. Who's next? The will forged in ice never falters! Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Lend me your strength. Who's next? Nap time. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. To guard and defend. Crush them. Who's next? Lend me your strength. Who's next? Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Forged in ice, never falters! Lend me your strength. <laughs> Who's next? Nap time. <laughs> Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Thank <laughs> you. 